Welcome to part 27 of our RC car buggy build and we're going to go ahead and tackle the battery cradle and these parts are all located in parts bag P so we're making our way down the parts bag list and pretty much we'll we'll be completing this buggy pretty soon uh, before you know it it'll just pass by in the blink of the eye so I'm just dry fitting the parts to make sure that everything is fitting okay and there's no fitment issues and everything is perfecto everything's perfect so I'm just gonna flip this over and pretty much it's just gonna be four screws total on the bottom and because I'm I'm screwing this from from like steel through the carbon fiber to plastic there really is no need for a thread lock however this isn't to say that if you're a thread lock fanatic uh, that you can't use thread lock you could actually use thread lock here too if you like but essentially it's uh, I envision that things are just going to be pretty stable and it's not going to be necessarily anything out of the ordinary so I'm not going to use thread lock in this case um, you might notice I still have my Weehaw 1 16th wrench in this and uh, I do like the Weehaw wrench I just wish the shaft handle was a little little longer um, it's a uh, if the shaft was 120 millimeters I could torque this down a little further however I don't want to strip this because it's uh, it, it's just the not a great idea to strip this component but uh, just so you know, it's uh, uh, just for the for the next possibly for the next build. It's probably too late for this build because um, I'm more than halfway done with this build. But maybe for the next RC build, I might be welding a a different wrench. I've been looking at a lot of different options right now, and essentially, it's uh, this is a good wrench for right now. But um, if you're if you're doing like a lot of work and you're building a lot of cars. Uh, these types of wrenches don't quite cut it or if you're also doing some repairs like a lot of repairs on a lot of different RC cars uh, this smaller wrenches do get fatiguing so you so if you're just looking at uh, purchasing uh, a new wrench uh, go with something much larger alright so I'm down to that last screw and we'll just go ahead and continue threading this in um, once this is actually threaded in on the on the panel side you notice that there's actually some battery spacers and this is because lipo packs ship in different sizes and also uh, the nice thing with the spacers is that you could actually change up weight distribution slightly you could put more weight towards the middle of the chassis or you could put more weight towards the rear of the chassis so I'm gonna to have to experiment this with this to see uh, what is the most optimal place to place that. And next step, we're gonna go ahead and put in our battery straps and make sure the battery straps are are facing in this orientation. This uh, indentation side is facing up. And essentially, what you do is you you go ahead and wedge your way underneath the globe. And in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten down the screw that has the globe and I'm just going to make sure that it gets tightened down then as you see there's some tension in there but you have the other retaining clip fold in and hold that down in there so that is pretty much how you would build out a battery strap thanks for watching